The purpose of this video is to walk you through how to use a mouse with your computer. Here's a mouse example. It's wireless, which means that you have a battery and that it connects with your computer without a wire. There's a left click section, a right click section, and a scroll wheel, and we'll be walking through each one of those. Some mouses, by the way, do not have scroll wheels. Another type of mouse is a wired trackball mouse. So it's wire connected to your computer. It has a left click and a right click. And the ball that you see there, the red one, will be walking through that in the left and right click later. So what is a cursor? It's a pointer icon that allows the user to select items on the screen or perform commands within a program. So you see here the cursor shows up on the screen. So how do you navigate a cursor? What you do is you move the mouse with your hand. So for example if you move it to the right you'll notice that the mouse moves a small amount versus the cursor. Then to move it left, you do the same thing, only moving it to the left. Now how do you navigate a cursor with a ball mouse? What you do is you take your finger and you roll it to the right on the ball, and the cursor moves to the right and then you roll it to the left and it moves the cursor to the left. Left click. You take your finger and you click on the left hand side of your mouse. And what happens is it highlights where the cursor is, which you see up there on the Internet Explorer, which is a program that takes you to the Internet just highlights it, but you want to open it. So what you have to do then to open it is you double click it. So you double click much faster than the, what you saw there and then automatically what happens is the Internet Explorer opens up and the cursor stays in the same location. Bottom bar navigation. At the lower left hand side which is highlighted down there, down at the very, very bottom, are some icons. And in that navigation bar, it only requires one click. So what you see here on the icon that's for the Internet Explorer again, if you just do one click, the screen opens up again automatically, but with just one click, so it's easier navigation. And the cursor stays where it is on the bottom of the screen. Okay, the right click, there's a difference. So when you right click, what you see when you've highlighted Internet Explorer icon there, a little window opens up which gives you information about open home page, start with add-ons and so forth. We won't go to, through all of that, but that's basically what right click does is it uh, highlights items and then identifies other options you have associated with that icon. Next is to minimize a screen. What you do is you scroll your cursor over to the upper right hand side and that little icon up there is for minimizing. Then you left click and what happens is the screen minimizes what you see here. When you minimize a screen, what happens is you see here are scroll bars on the bottom and on the right. And what scroll bars are used for is so that you can move the image up and down and left to the right so that you can see the information. Because when you minimize a screen, many times it closes enough that you can't see all the information. So how do you do that? Basically what you do 
is with a mouse that has a scroll wheel, you can just move that, and when you move it, basically what happens is it scrolls the item down, and then you, if you move the wheel up, it moves it up. So how do you scroll down without a scroller on a mouse? You can also do it with a scroller on the mouse the same way. The first thing that you do is you move the cursor over to the scroll bar, then you left click to highlight it. But you have to hold it down. So when you left click, you left click and hold it down, and it's highlighted in blue, and then you move the mouse down and the scroller moves down with the screen. That is the end of our video in our tutorial for the mouse.